pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. A child shall be born for us, and he will be called God, the Almighty. Every tribe of the earth shall be blessed in him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we approach the feast of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, we also ask the Lord to be born in our hearts. And we ask the Lord for the grace of something new in our lives today. And so to prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask Him for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, as we see how the nativity of your Son, according to the flesh, draws near, we pray that to us, your unworthy servants, Mercy may flow from your word, who chose to become flesh of the Virgin Mary and establish among us his dwelling. Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly, there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. 
but who will endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. Lo, I will send you Elijah the prophet, before the day of the Lord comes, the great and terrible day, to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children, and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with doom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Lift up your, your heads and see. Your redemption is near at hand. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Lift up your heads and see. Your redemption is near at hand. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O King of all nations and keystone of the Church, come and save man whom you formed from the dust. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs, asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We are coming nearer to Christmas. Tomorrow at evening, we will be already celebrating the Christmas Eve Mass. But before we delve immediately into the celebrations of Christmas, I think there is one more thing that we need to be reminded of. 
And in our first reading from the book of the prophet Malachi, we are reminded of this reality. He said that when the Lord will come, He will purify us like gold or silver being refined. Kapag dumating ang Diyos, tayo ay Kanyang nililinis. You know, when, whenever we hear of Christmas, we hear of celebrations. We hear of happy solemnities and feasting. But before we celebrate Christmas, we are reminded today that the coming of the Lord is not just a cause for celebration, but a cause for us to be cleansed. To be purified. And the birth of John the Baptist in our gospel passage today is a reminder to us of a birth of a new person. The birth of something new in our lives. My dear brothers and sisters, if we are purified, if we are cleansed by God, then something new will come out. Something new will be given birth in our lives. My dear brothers and sisters, let us ask ourselves today, what is this something new that will be born in us? Ano kaya ang bago? Ano kaya ang isisilang sa puso ko ngayong Pasko na ito? What will God purify in us so that something new will come out? For the past days, people have reacted over the murder of a mother and a son. It has caused reactions from different sides, in different levels of society. And I think this should remind us of the reality of Christmas, not just as a celebration, a feast, but a time for purification, a time to cleanse ourselves so that something new will be born in us. Sana po mga kapatid, ang kapaskuhan na ito ay hindi lamang magdala sa atin ng kaligayahan sa pagpipista, pagkakainan, pagpapalitan ng regalo, kundi ang sabi ng Panginoon, ang kanyang pagdating ay isang magandang daan ng tayo ay malinis, ng tayo ay magbago at magkaroon ng pagbabago sa ating mga puso. We are made aware of the reality of violence, of how violence can be performed even in front of children, and how children can be affected deeply by being violent. Let this experience be a wake-up call for us. Bumangon nawa tayo. Magising nawa tayo at nawa ang darating na kapaskuhan na ito ay hindi lamang daraan pagkatapos ng kainan, pagkatapos ng kasiyahan, kundi sa Paskong ito, panalangin po sana natin nawa may bagong dumating, may bagong isisilang sa puso ng bawat Pilipino, may bago na darating sa buhay natin. Jesus, we pray will be born in each one's heart. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, as we come near Christmas, the festivities of Christmas, let us also be reminded that the coming of the Lord should purify, purify us and cleanse us. And let us ask, what will this new thing, what will be something that will be born in us. We pray that it will be for the good. We pray that Jesus might be born 
in each one of us. Amen. Please stand. Zechariah called his son John, which means God is gracious. Trusting in God's graciousness and generosity, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church and government leaders may truly show God's graciousness by their loving and persevering service to God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may appreciate our Christian name and dignity and live up to our baptismal promises. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That families may renew their love, solidarity, and support for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may receive comfort and consolation from the prayers and encouragement of their families and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may finally enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, may the life of John the Baptist inspire us to greater holiness. Fill us with His Spirit as we work in the service of your people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. May this oblation by which divine worship in its fullness has been inaugurated for us, be our perfect reconciliation with you, O Lord, that we may celebrate with minds made pure the nativity of our Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. 
and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be Thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant your peace, O Lord, to those you have nourished with these heavenly gifts, that we may be ready with lighted lamps to meet your dearly beloved Son at his coming, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We would like to invite everyone tonight, our praying of the Healing Rosary for the World at 9 p.m. will be led by the community of the parish of Our Lady of Candelaria in Silang, Cavite. And uh, we ask everyone to join us as we have done every Wednesday for the past months to pray the Healing Rosary for the World. Tomorrow also at uh, 8 p.m., tomorrow, December 24, we will be celebrating the Christmas Eve Mass here at the Manila Cathedral to be presided by our Apostolic Administrator, Bishop uh, Broderick Pabilio. Tomorrow that is 8 p.m. and we will still be broadcasting online this Mass and also all our Masses on Christmas Day at 8 a.m., 11 a.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. The 11 a.m. Mass uh, at Christmas, December 25, will be presided by the new Apostolic Nuncio to the Philippines, His Excellency Archbishop Charles Brown. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.